please God. Look after me and St. Peter Lamb tonight. We keep on here. Josh! I told you, you should be in bed by now. St. Peter doesn't want to go to bed yet. <sighs> well, Peter is a bad influence. Don't you think you're getting a bit old to be playing with soft toys? Shouldn't you be playing with kids your own age? Not weird little lamb toys. You know I don't get to go to school like the other children. I'm special. I get given tutors, and you. Come on, take your tablets. I don't want to take them. You know if you don't take them, you'll have your nightmares and won't sleep. But what if I need to wake? Because the nightmares are too scary. You won't, I promise. Come on, just take them and get it over with. There. Wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> you and St. Peter get a pleasant sleep. Hello? Yes, Miss Downing, everything's fine. Yeah, took his pills, went straight to bed. Yep, no problems at all. All right, enjoy the gala. Bye. Nothing, just try and do my dissertation. Even the talking sheep would be a help right now. Nothing, the kid's weird. Help. Hang on, I think Josh is up. Oh, <laughs> 
Maria. Josh, listen to him, put it down, no one's gonna get hurt. You hurt Talia! Stay back! The both of you! Josh, I promise. Nothing bad is gonna happen to you, that's why I'm here. Look, I'm putting my gun down. You can trust me. You can't let them take me to the house! What? I can't go there! Just look at me and stay calm. What house? Where? The bad house! Where the bad dreams come from! Don't stop, okay? Please! You can't let them take me to the house! What are you talking about? Who cares? The kids think she's crazy! Please! You can't let them take me to the house! What are you talking about? <laughs> what house? No, can't cut to me. Stop. I promised the girl. No killing. So you can put that fucking thing down for a start. The fucker instead. No. You better get him out of here. Because someone let the gun go off. Yeah, come on. Let's get into his crime party. We get some stuff. Bring with us. I won't let you take him. Listen, you don't get paid enough for this. You're just a babysitter. Help will be here soon. What the hell went wrong in there? It was one simple job. It was a kid and a teenage girl, Mickey. The fuck was I supposed to know she had a knife? The half part's over. I'm sure lightning reactions Mickey can sew his arm back on later over a few drinks. Yeah, well, thankfully, the kid's all right. I don't give a fuck about the kid. I care about my fucking arm. No one was supposed to get hurt. That girl could have died. Relax. She didn't. Come on. Let's just get to the safe house before he suffocates in the boot. Banging half price for dead hostages. Where's Josh? Yeah, they took him. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Danny. I tried to stop him. It's okay, hun. There's lots of evidence of a struggle. Josh is gone. The rifle's been fired. I thought she was dead. Obviously not. Is it still loaded? Yes. I best go call the police then. I'll never get that out of the carpet. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Welcome to your new playhouse. touches anything. If anyone messes with this house or tries to nick anything, I gave our clients a very good insurance policy. I'll chop your cocks off. Well, maybe we should get them to pay the ransom for the kid too. Seriously, I want this job over quickly. No fucking with the client and no fucking with this house. Try not to bleed over this one like the last one, Mickey. It's like one of them proper business trips. I'm gonna 
take your mask off, kid, so you can see. You're not going to give me any trouble now, are you? Do you like clowns, Josh? Do you find them scary? That's good. Because clowns are scary. And they wear masks because their real faces are even more scary. And you must never see our real faces. Because if you do, You'll never see anything, ever, again. Do you understand? Stop it. You're scaring him. He needs to know the rules of the circus, Nancy, for his own safety. You're going to do everything the scary clowns tell you to do, aren't you, Josh? Because otherwise, we'll have to tell your folks what a naughty little boy you're being. By sending them one piece of their naughty little boy at a time. No one can hear you scream here, kid. So I'm going to take the tape off your mouth. You're not going to give me a clown headache now, are you? What'd you say? Thank you. Good boy. repeat everything the scary clown tells me to say. Because otherwise, the ringmaster is going to kick my fucking head in. Because otherwise, the ringmaster will kick my fucking head in. Good boy. Fucking bitch. Can't believe she got away with this because of Jacob's girl. Alright. No one is supposed to die in this job. Yeah. I can always change, eh? My name is Josh Downing. I'm being helped by people who don't want to hurt me. But they will if they have to. If you don't pay the ransom. I don't trust Nancy. I think she's a risk. She's my girl. Never let me down on a job. But she's never done a job like this before. Yeah, neither of you. I can vouch for Nancy. You just do your job. Now bugger off and let me talk to the client. And shut the door behind you. Yes, sir. Everything's going according to plan. Very good. They've just put out an amber alert on the kid. I hope the house is to your satisfaction. It has uh, quite the character. I would suggest you lie low as much as possible. We shall speak again at the same time tomorrow, after the ransom video. Have a good night. Mr. Colden, take very good care of our special child.
Please inform the members of the circle. It is with great excitement that I can announce that proceedings for this season's ritual have begun. All communications to House of Salem will now be cut until further notice. Yes, sir. Can I bring you anything else? Yes. Bring me the bottle. At least you're not the kid. That was all right for the kid. Wish I had Jacob's girl looking after me. I wouldn't let Jacob hear you talking about her like that. Hey, well, it's not like the boy can see over his mask on anyway. You like looking at her, don't you? No. No. Not exactly my type. Good. Because he'll cut anyone's fingers off that touches her. Yeah. Well, like you said, she's off limits. I'm going to let you keep your hands free. But you have to promise me not to remove the mask. Okay. You can call me Nancy. What, the woman who looked after Oliver? Yeah. And Oliver had a happy ending, didn't he? Yeah, he did. But Nancy didn't. She got her head smashed in. Don't listen to the things a scary man's saying. I promise nothing bad's gonna happen to you. What's up with you? I just saw something. Must have been a glitch. You haven't been smoking weed again, have you? No. Well, maybe you should, might help you relax. I found a sheep teddy you might like. His name's St. Peter. That's a funny name. Does he like church? No. Oh, why not? Because he's a stuff lamb. Yeah. St. Peter has autism. He likes to be left alone. I've never met an autistic lamb before. People say I'm too old for St. Peter. I still talk to my teddies. But you're a girl. And you have problems. You're a weirdo who kidnaps kids. Fair enough. I'm close by, I can hear you if you need me. Who's the other child crying next door you've kidnapped? There are no other kidnapped children here. I can hear the children crying in the other rooms. You're just shaken, scared. This is an old house, it's the wind whistling through the old cracks. How's my little girl? Don't call me that. I didn't like the way you were scaring the boy today. You know me. It's just an act. Then it's not an act I like to see. Look, Anna. Just think. After this job, you and me are going to be free. No more crime. 
My little princess can find someone who really deserves her. You seem troubled. I keep having horrible visions of my mother. There's something about this place I don't like. I think it reminds me of the old building in St. Petersburg where they used to keep us. You're gonna have to find a way to escape that place. I can't escape that place. The same as the boy, he won't be able to escape this place. They'll buy him a new computer or something. As soon as he gets home. It's a small price to pay for being a rich kid, eh? Look, Anna, I want you to have this, just in case. I know what guys like that can be like. I can protect myself. Yeah, and you can protect yourself a lot better with a gun. I couldn't see anyone out there. I was told this place was secure. There'd be no one around for miles. Someone should tell Jacob. For fuck's sake. Well, maybe there's rats in the loft. Rats? Someone push that bell. Good night, Josh. It's closed, Josh. What's going on? The mask. Did he see your faces? No. Get something to sedate him. It's just the trauma. It's messed with his head. Stay with him till he falls asleep, Nancy. You know, that gun doesn't suit you, right? Nancy, she, uh, she certainly didn't have one like that. Take it your name's not really Jack either, then? No. But Jack's as good a name as any other, though. I didn't exactly care for the one my mum gave me. So how did you get talked into this? Your accent doesn't sound like you're from around here. In and out of trouble. Ran away, started doing some odd jobs here and there, and I realised I wasn't too bad at computer hacking. I guess it was something to do while I was in and out of young offenders' institutions. Well, none of us had lucky families like this kid, did we? Is the video done? Yeah. Craig's going to take it into town tomorrow. Send it from the internet cafe first thing. Good. And the kid can go home. Yeah.
Please, Josh. Wake up. You need to get away from them. Jacob. Careful. You almost dropped your camera. I didn't see you come in. <laughs> Why don't you take a seat? I think it'd be rather nice if we had a bit of a chat, don't you? It's okay, I can stand. And I said take a seat. So what do you want to talk about? My Nancy must be very attractive to somebody like you. Jacob, I promise you, I will never touch her. And that's why I know you're fucking lying, Jack. You wouldn't be able to resist a girl like her. I'm not wearing a mask now. And I'm not frightening little kids. And you might look like Prince Charming right now, but you won't if I cut your fucking face off and mail it back to the care home from where you came. Do you understand, Jack? Yes. Goodbye. It's a rabbit. Yeah, what the fuck is it doing off a tree? Kids. I'll fucking string them up if I catch them. Fuck, I'm smoking this inside. Yeah, good idea. And why don't you put some fucking trousers on? Do you think we should be concerned? I don't know. Just get that USB off as quickly as possible, all right? I'll sort this out. Come on, eat your cereal. I want you to be nice and strong when you go home. What if they don't pay the ransom? Of course they will. Why would you say something like that? Mr. and Mrs. Darling don't really like me. They pretend to. You shouldn't call them Mr. and Mrs. They are your mum and dad. No, they're not. They're my aunt and uncle. My mum and dad died with my brother Ricky in a house fire when I was very small. House fire? I was the only one who survived. Thank you for looking after me, Anna. I told you my name was Nancy. Who told you, Anna? 
I heard someone say it in the house. One of the guys must have told him. The guys weren't told your real name, unless you told it to that teenage boy. Of course I didn't. I've barely spoken to him. Really? Because I've seen the way you look at him. Don't be ridiculous. Like you'd want to date a kidnapper, I've already got one as a so-called father. Sorry. You know I hate violence. Nancy, Anna, who gives a toss? Josh must have overheard us talking, that's all. Did you know they weren't his real parents? You did, didn't you? The lines you made in saying the video, there was no mention of mum or dad. It doesn't matter. They'll pay. I've got a guarantee on it. <sighs> Kid. There's a skate to my thing, he's still in the house. Fuck! Nancy, stop then, look for the boy, he's got out. That's impossible, I was just with him. Come here! I'm down here. You find him? No. What are they? Looks like there was something in it trying to get out. What, you reckon the owners get dogs in there for fighting or something? Must have been pretty big dogs. What's going on? Hey, look, look. There's something in this one. That's not yours to touch. What are you two doing down here? I came to look for the boy. Nancy's already found him. He's upstairs in his bedroom. What? No, Jacob, I, I saw a kid running through the house. You'd better not be losing it on me, Sunshine. Remember, you've done your job now, so you're expendable. Neither of you should be down here. I've told you, no messing with the house. We don't know who this client is and we don't want to piss them off. Now both of you, get the fuck out of it. You feel better once you've had a bath. I swear it, there's something not right about this job. Relax, mate. The parents are gonna play out now they've got your film debut. Especially that performance with a kid. Why do you have to stay with me? You can't be left alone. Just in case you try something. Like what? Escape. Or hurt yourself. Where did that mark come from? I don't know. I've always had it. Do you ever hurt yourself? Because of bad things? We need to find out what's been going on in that basement. Leave it. You heard Jacob. Let's just enjoy this place. It's not like we're usually someone like this. Yeah, but what sort of people hire us to do a job like this? And give us this kind of house? You're paranoid. That's why you keep seeing kids running around that ain't there. Do you really think you can keep me safe from that scary man? He's not that scary. It's just an act. He seems pretty scary to me. 
he plays a pretty good act. Mickey, listen. It's all over the news and radio. The girl's dead. It's now murder inquiry. I thought you just punched her in the face. We are did. Quality. How is it quality, Mickey? She must have hemorrhaged. Oh, that's all right then. She must have just fucking hemorrhaged. You told the babysitter she would be fine. But she wasn't. She's fine. Help would have got to her. St. Peter says she's dead. What makes him say that? Apparently I have a bad imagination. How can you have a bad imagination at your age? Apparently I do. I see nasty things. What nasty things? Sometimes things that come true. That's why they tell me to keep on talking to my lamplight instead of other people. We all see scary things as a kid. It's part of growing up. That's what St. Peter says. Josh, I'm going to ask you something and I want you to tell me the truth. Do you promise me you can do that? Okay. Who told you my name was Anna? I promised him I wouldn't say. Was it the scary man or one of his guys? I'm not meant to let people know I hear him. Who? I'm only meant to tell St Peter. Tell me who it is you hear, Josh. so I can whisper. My brother Ricky, who died in a fire, told me it. I see him sometimes, just like you sometimes see your mum. Even now I'm in a mask. I can see them standing right behind you now. My brother with his burns, and your mother holding her head in a bag. It's just me. I found something. I promise you won't tell Jacob. They're old VHS tapes. Each of them marked with a name. Look, they all seem to be under 18. And then there was this. Josh was given a lamb toy by his adoptive parents. Adopted? Yeah. His parents died in a house fire along with his brother. Nancy, there's something going on in this house. Something terrible with these children. I'm sorry, Nancy. I promise I won't call you Anna again. We're part of something we don't know about. Can you play these videos? I can't find a player anywhere. But there must be an old VHS player around here somewhere. We've just got to find it. I'm 
I'm sorry. Peter. Josh, he said his lamb toy was called Peter. Have you told any of the others? I told Mickey. He didn't need to know. They're gonna find out she's dead, Jacob. It's everywhere. Yeah. Not here, they wouldn't have. I'm getting bad vibes from this house. Oh, for fuck's sake. Go up and do your job. I'm getting paid enough to do this shit. You're getting paid exactly what we agreed to pay you. Sort out that kid. What's going on? Nothing. Where's Jack? I thought he was with you. Listen, don't mention the fucking babysitter. Shit, I just ordered the flowers for the funeral. Don't be a fucking prick all your life. going on here? I'm so sorry. We were playing with our mum and dad in the woods. He has a terrible imagination. He's always running off. Josh. Please, no. Come on, stop messing around. We always come for picnics. We're going to make dad angry, Josh. Josh, look at me. Do you know these people? No. no? They're lying. You're going to be safe. You're going to be safe. Oh, They're lying. We've got to get them out of here. Yeah. Get in the car. Come on. Come on. Someone did. No, not on you. Well, I'm gonna fucking find out, Danny. Please, no! I'm sorry. It wasn't Jack I was with him. We were clearing away this room. All right, Nancy. Put the gun down. Really doesn't suit you. No one's touching the boy. Where's Mick? He's gone into the woods to drop the bodies in the car. Great. Everyone. Calm down.
I've seen all your faces now. You know they're gonna kill me if they get the money. They're not. I promise I won't let anything happen to you and I meant that. Anyway, the client ordered that no harm could come to you. We're more at risk now than you are. They've had this video for nearly eight hours now. It's getting dark. Someone should have called by now. They'll call. We should move to another safe house. Oh. We're staying here. The last thing we need to do is to start running about. Do you know what? I've had enough of this. This is getting out of control. You two are on your own. Well, oh, fuck off. You got this fucking leave. Let him go. Yeah, he's take the He'll be back. Do you think he's going to give up his slice of the cunt? Anyway, kid's seen his face now. Yeah. What are we going to do about that? Three people are dead, and the kids see our faces. Do you really think they're gonna let him go now? I don't know. Why the hell didn't we let him run? Nancy, you weren't supposed to know they were gonna shoot him. This isn't a ransom, I don't know what it is. But we need to find out what is on those tapes. Wait. Jacob really doesn't know who the client is. I don't know. That kid knows things he shouldn't. He knows things about me only Jacob knows. That was quick. Thought you'd at least get to the end of the drive. Did you get lost? You can't. You slashed my tyres. What? That's absurd. Why would I do that? So you're saying we've got no vehicle out of this place? We're miles into the woods. Who's the fucking client, Jacob? Some family member with a grudge against Mr and Mrs Downing. That's all I know. That's all I wanted to know. Great. So we're now part of some revenge plot. Look, unless you're actually going to shoot me, I suggest you put that gun down. I'm your only connection with that client. Well, fucking call them then. So what's the deal with you and this guy anyway? Do you used to sell you or...? No. It was never like that. You don't have to lie to me, you know. I'm no stranger from the streets myself. He's never touched me. A man like that doesn't raise a girl for nothing. <laughs> doesn't exactly seem like the father in type anyway. I was smuggled into the UK when I was four. My mother was Russian, some cheap prostitute. Jacob fell in love with her, apparently. She helped him with something, I don't know what. Anyway. She witnessed some crime, apparently I was there, but I can't remember. She gave me to some other young girl that got me to Jacob. My mother's head was found floating in a river a few days later. Her body was never found. Maybe they kept hold of it. It's the only thing they ever wanted anyway. Maybe they got one last final pay out of it. That's some dark shit. But how dark's the shit on those tapes? The lion's dead. Brilliant. Perhaps it's just temporary. What the fuck if it's not? Listen. We have both been through some dark shit. That makes it worse. How can we do what we've done to the boy? 
then the main thing is we don't let anything bad happen to him from now on. I'm with you, I promise. I won't let anything bad happen to you or the boy. I'm gonna stay with the kid tonight. You keep looking for the video player. What's going on? Where's Nancy? She's upstairs with the kid. She said she's gonna stay with him tonight. We've lost the landline. What? How? Shut up, Jack. How far away is that car you abandoned? 15 minutes. Maybe 10 if I'm quick. Go and get it. Drive until you get signal. Then come back. I'll give you the client's number. Tell them the line's down. I found some walkie-talkies in one of the cupboards in the study. Go and get them. tonight. I promise. You left me when I told you the truth about the things I see. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. I was scared. My brother Ricky says the children here are scared. What happened to them? My brother or the children here. Both. What are we going to do if he doesn't come back? What if he just takes the car and... He'll come back. None of us can leave this job now, even if we wanted to. We trusted you when we took this job on. Look, we still got the kid. All the while we've got him, we've got something to bargain with. Even if it's the Downings. I don't know what happened to the children here. But my brother was in the room next to mine. And the fire started. He tried to save me. But the fire and the smoke was just too thick. With no doors. Or windows. Just fire. He opened the closet door and put me in there. And what I thought was this monster opened the door and picked me up. The flames were so bright. I thought both me and my brother had just gone to hell. I remember seeing my brother's body burning with the toys as I was carried out, wondering why the monster wasn't taking him too. Then I realized it was a fireman. I was the only one who survived. What started the fire? They said it was one of my mum's candles. Meant to make the house smell nice. I'll never forget the smell of them. Burning with the bodies. There's a break in the car now. I radio back when I got signal. Over. See? A little bit of faith goes a long way. And so does the ransom money that we should have by now. happened. They're coming. They're in the woods. 
St. Peter's scared. <laughs> they're in masks, but they're not clowns. They're scary. <laughs> He didn't radio to say he's got signal. Maybe he came back first? No. He's back too soon. Something's wrong. Get your guns. Follow me. like lightning Mickey's fucked up for the last time. That symbol. That's the one Nancy found on the boy. Jacob. Look. We're going to stay together and get through this. Okay. Do you see that? Yes. Right. Both of you, lock this house down. St. Peter's scared, Nancy. You stop talking. Are the other children saying anything? No. They've all stopped. Does St. Peter usually stop talking? No. What is it? So on. They're taunting us. I think it's about time we find out what's been going on in that basement. You ready? Get it over with. Joshy's toy, it was... What? Nothing. My name is Peter Ponder. I've been chosen and marked as the lamb for the final deliverance. And tonight I'll become a devil's saint. This is my last testament on earth. I'm going to be with you and my brother soon, aren't I?
The kid had the same toy as Josh, then must have passed it on to him. What the hell have we been set up for? They're intending to make it look like the kidnap went wrong. It's genius. His rich aunt and uncle killed his family in a house fire. And they're a part of the cult hire us. And trapped us up here. Knowing that we turn on each other when the ransom didn't come through. The kid just disappears. And some of our bodies either turn up or disappear with him. It's brilliant. He's a sick cunt. Let's just give him the kid and get out of here. Are you stupid? That kid's the only reason why we're still here. I'm gonna be sick. We're still armed, Nancy. We've got to hold out until morning. Then we can make a getaway. Jack's right. They won't touch us all the while we've got that kid. Nancy? Interesting viewing, don't they? Jacob. My name is Daniel Hughes. I have been chosen as a lamb for the final deliverance. Tonight I will become a devil saint. This will be my last testament on earth. There's three boxes. safe. What have you done with him? Nothing. Jacob's asked me to make him secure. He's worried you two have become too involved and attached. If you harm that boy. I'd be careful if I was you. I know you're Jacob's favourite bitch, but I'd quite happily get rid of you just as quick as the boy if I had to. Do you understand? hold a lot of secrets, Jack. And the House of Salem is definitely one of them. <coughs> Look into the flame. What do you see? Just fire? Don't you know fire from what we've heard about hell? Imagine if you could look into the fire and see hell. Lord Arthur Salem was part of a magic circle in America, but the Yanks couldn't handle his growing obsession with the occult. So he moved to England with the aid of several beneficiaries who were interested in his research. He built the House of Salem on the confluence of some very ancient ley lines and to exact sacred geometrical dimensions and through the eyes of the young, and with the aid of those sensory deprivation mm. boxes, mm. he found a way to see how. Mm. Mm. Of course, it's only been in the modern era that the uh, cult have been video documenting their research. 
They call them deliverance. And you should feel really special. Because it's only a select few that are chosen for deliverances. Your real name is Liam Harrison, isn't it? It's the one you'll use on camera. <laughs> you haven't read your uh, case history files. It makes for interesting reading. It was an LSD trip, but it wasn't a bad acid trip that sent your mum out of the bedroom window. <laughs> High-rise council blocks, AJ. Eh, They're shit, aren't they? What do you, Josh, and my Nancy all have in common? You've been prepared from the day you were born for this moment. Much to the detriment of your families. <laughs> Do you know the payout I'm getting for her? It means this really is my last mm. job. Time to put Jack in the box. Mm. Mm. Good idea making all that noise with all these psychos running about outside. You know, I'm really beginning to regret giving you that gun, young lady. Don't fuck with me. You might have saved me when I was a child, but I'm not going to let you harm one. Look, I just asked Craig to hide the boy for his own safety in case those crazies got in here. You've seen from the videos what they want to do to him. He's safely sedated in the wardrobe. The one where we found the dead boy. <clears throat> Why the fuck would you put him in there? I agree that probably wasn't the best place. It's Craig's idea. And I think by now we've all learnt that Craig is not best known for his sensitivity. Quite frankly, I'm disgusted with his entire behaviour. Where's Jack? Oh. He left a note for you on the VHS player. <laughs> Bad news, I'm afraid, Princess. Don't think you quite handle what was going on in those tapes. And uh, considering there's no one left, really, that you need protecting from, probably a good idea I'd take this gun back, don't you think? Why don't you go and check on your little angel in the cupboard, darling? And face it. Your teenage boyfriend saying he isn't coming back to help, is he? Those sick psychos. This is for your own good, Anna. I won't be long, love. No! You're gonna die with us all in this house. Stay quiet, kid. I don't fall for all that scary shit like the others. You tell them if they're not willing to deal, I'm gonna kill this kid right now. Devil wants to fucking kill him, does he? This is not how it was supposed to go down. You're all running out of time. I said shut your mouth. One more word from you, I'm gonna shoot you straight through that stupid fucking bear mask.
I was supposed to kill the other two. Then hand over the three sacrifices after collecting my reward. And you knew that. And you said that I could have one night to do whatever I wanted with that girl before you arrived. You there, Jacob? Have you found them yet? Not yet. What the fuck are they doing out there having some kind of wicker orgy in the woods? Give me a few more minutes. You ain't got a few more minutes if this kid don't decide to shut up. What are you talking about? I left that kid sedated with the tape back over his mouth. What? Who's Lane? Who have I been talking to? You seriously trying to scare me now? You can't touch me without your precious child. No child, no deliverance. You are no longer required by the circle. Come away with us. To play in the dark with us. We thank you for your services. Your reward will be waiting with our master in the fire. You cunts! My fucking services! Whatever you do, don't come out. Fellow saint waits below. We must find the child. Dad! Behind you! Quick! Where's 
Jacob. I can't put him, they're everywhere in the house. And Josh? No, he's hiding upstairs. <sighs> his face. He was the one in the video of Peter. I swear his name was Daniel. Come on, we've got to get Josh. Come away with us to play in the dark with us. Come away with us to cry in the dark with us. Nancy, you've got to calm down, okay? We're we'll finding more promise. Come away with us. Hey, Josh! To play in the dark. Come away with Josh! Us. Come on, we've got to go. It's too late. They're here. Come away with us. To cry in the dark with us. Nancy, did you hear that? <coughs> Josh, we've got to go. <laughs> I hope your experience inside one of Salem's more ingenious inventions was not too traumatic for you. By this point, I am sure you are aware of the circumstances of your upbringing. Your guardian has, <coughs> regrettably, left our circle. We always find the following information comes better from a previous chosen one. I've been told to pass this message on to the next saint. On behalf of the child, like me, you're about to be asked to sacrifice. Please don't be scared. It's an honor to be delivered into the arms of our true father. I'll be forever thankful for my deliverer. That's all the next child you'll deliver. Please do the right thing. And maybe you'll find love within the circle. I hope you made the right decision to join us, Anna. 
the offering of the children serves an important purpose to our research. Direct communication with the devil. And you would not believe some of the things they tell us. I'll never hurt that boy. And you can all go to hell. Don't fight it like I did. I have no regrets about helping his passing. It's a great honor to be chosen to become a deliverer. Failed saints are sealed in one of the boxes and buried alive in the woods. Please. Pretty girl like you deserves more. Sacrifice me instead. We only need one to deliver the boy. If you're not afraid of going back in the box. Maybe the other one will be. Peter had such a beautiful singing voice. But it had to be done. It's time to talk to the devil, Anna. Jack! I'm sorry. I couldn't take those boxes any longer. It'll all be over soon. I promise. Forget her. Leave her. She's lost to the circle. You are now a saint, like the rest of us. No. It's time for the final deliverance. to drink his blood as reward after he has spoken in death. Oh, please. Don't do this, I beg you. Give the lamb a clean cut so he may bleed quickly and be delivered fast to the waiting arms of the devil. Do it! The lamb must die. No! 
Nancy, it's going to be okay. I promise you it's going to be okay. Don't worry. Nancy, it's going to be okay. Do you want the boy to live? Then slit the lad's throat. Kill, kill me! Kill me! Do it! You kill me, you hear me? You kill me, it don't matter. I don't matter. I can't. You have to save him. I can't. You have to. You don't sacrifice him. I will bleed the three of you right now. Starting with the child. Do it, kill me! Where are we going to go after this, Ian? I don't know. Probably to hell with the rest of them in the end. Do you think there might be a heaven? Look. There's lights. Come on. Thank you so much for stopping. You saved our lives. If you could just drop us to the nearest police station. A hospital. You were very lucky we were heading this way. Don't worry, kids, you'll be okay. We'll get you to somewhere safe right away. Where are we, Nancy? Where are we going? Shh. Josh, go back to sleep. Some people found us and they're gonna take us to a safe place. They must be frozen to death. Turn the heating on. Let's help them warm up. Of course.
right now. Crowd!